His name is Moses Ali. He is a retired full general of the Uganda People Defense Forces. He has been a member of the Ugandan cabinet since 1974. Actually, he was the Minister for Finance who read the 1974 Ugandan budget. His name is Moses Ali. A lot of people know him as Brigadier Moses Ali because he stayed for a long time in the rank of Brigadier. See, Brigadier is a one-star general, but he is a retired four-star general. He is a retired full general. He was born in early 30s, no, late 30s, in, a play, in northern Uganda, a place called Abirikachu. Abirikachu. In his native language, Abirikachu literally means Hatwezi patikana nanja. Abirukachu. Hatwezi patikana nanja. To me, it sounds like a certain Luo word that uh, Abirogoi, but actually it was Abirukachu, meaning Hatuta patikana nanja. He joined the military, and he was among the military officers who overthrew, who joined Amin and overthrew Obote in 1973. That is why he ended up being the Minister for Finance. By then he was a major, Minister for Finance, and he's the one who read the 1974 Uganda budget. That is 50 years ago. <clears throat> when I was in Standard 6, <laughs> and Kenyan Jin C says, hey, kwatengi gomezeeka sana. Now, if I am old, then uh, I, I wonder how uh, Moses Ali is. He's from northern Uganda, as I said. Uh, when he was the minister for, for, for finance, he used to look for NGOs to finance various Islamic organizations. He would finance various Islamic organizations. This annoyed Ida Amin. Remember, both were, were Muslims, were born Muslims. So when he sees that uh, he is befriending Ugandan Muslims, Amin naturally thought that it was a way of trying to overthrow him. So one day there was a confrontation. One day there was a confrontation in the cabinet meeting. And he walked out having resigned. Those days you did not have the privilege of writing a resignation letter. Just resigned and went. And he, as he was going to his home area, Abirikachu from Kampala, he met a roadblock, a roadblock of 10 military police officers. Uh, they were supposed to arrest him and take him to court martial. But a few minutes after they stopped him, the 10 military police officers were dead and he went on to his home area and started his own private army. So when he started his own private army, uh, it went on like that, that uh, it reached a time when Julius Nyerere organized for some exiled Tanz Ugandans who are living in Tanzania to go and overthrow or overrun Uganda. So as they were coming from the south, uh, Moses Ali was coming from the north. And so they chased out Amin. And uh, in, the, in the second uh, Obote government, we have several other governments which were there. There is Lule. There is uh, Binaisa, Geoffrey Binaisa. From Binaisa, there is Paul Mwanga. From Paul Mwanga. There is uh, Tito Okelo Lutua. Now, all these people, uh, he, he used to be a minister there, but somehow, somewhere, he went again to his back, his place of Abirikachu, and started, uh, re revived his own army, private army there, to fight, uh, first of all, fight Obote II, 
then later and other people until he fought Tito Okello Lutua. So, when uh, Tito Okello Lutua and Museveni came to Nairobi, under wise leadership of Daniel Toreticha Ramoy, they signed a peace treaty where Tito Okello Lutua was to be the president and the chairman of the Supreme Military Council. And uh, Museveni was to be the vice chairman, chairman and vice president. They agreed, and when they went to Uganda, Museveni did not go to Kampala. He went to a place called Yoweri. No, Lue, Lu, <laughs> not Yoweri, but Lue, Luero Triangle. I nearly called it Yoweri Triangle. He went to Loweri Triangle, where he start, where he continued pushing his NRA into Kampala, and he was assisted from another direction by Brigadier Moses Ali. So they both overran, plus other militias. They came and overran the, 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 the Kampala, and Museveni became the president. Uh, Museveni's army was called NRA, National Resistance Army. And um, uh, Moses Ali's, uh, I can't call the, recall the name of the militia, but his militia joined up with the, with the, with the, with, with the Museveni, and they joined up and became UPDF, Uganda People, uh, Uganda People Defense Forces. That is how it became, and he has been a minister since then. Now, on a few occasions, because they hold election every five, okay, every five, five years. There are a few occasions when he has lost elections, two or three, but in the next election has always won. And currently, he is a, a deputy prime minister and a deputy leader of government business in parliament. That, viewers, is general. He, uh, he, was, he was reinstated by Joel Museveni because when he was a brigadier and he was uh, that incident of the military police, uh, he was stripped of his military. And when the commander in chief strips of your military rank, it means that you are not entitled to call yourself Brigadier Moses Ali. You are supposed to call yourself Mr. Moses Ali. But Museveni later reinstated him and even promoted him from Brigadier to Major General, to Lieutenant General, and a full General. Jin C. Anguka nayo, anguka na watenge. You, you, you look at my gray hair and say I'm old. Eh? Remember, when I was in Standard 6, 1974, Moses Ali was reading the budget of Uganda. Thank you.